I grew up on, on a hop farm, and, and like a lot of U.S. hop growers, I mean, it's just, it's in your blood. It started with my great-grandfather. He immigrated from Canada and worked for the Moxie Hop Company. Uh, his son, my grandfather, eventually moved from Moxie out here to the Yakima Reservation, started this farm, and, uh, uh, and that's what brought me here. Hops are extremely important to beer. Hops are to beer what grapes are to wine. It's what gives beer its aroma, its taste, its flavor profile. And, and here in, in the Pacific Northwest, we've got the, the soils and the climate that produces that ideal taste in beer. It's been said that the hop plant likes to have its feet wet and its head dry. And that's what you get here in the Pacific Northwest. We're in a desert climate here, so it doesn't rain uh, very often. And yet, particularly in the Yakima Valley, we have storage reservoirs way up in the Cascade Mountains that are filled from snowpack that melts. And this creates a great buffer for us for our irrigation purposes. And so we're able to meter the precise amount of water and fertilizer to the plants. It really has improved the quantity and quality of our crops out here, and it's been a big plus for the U.S. hop industry. Year in and year out, we have a very, very stable crop. We don't see the fluctuations near that other areas of the world may see. And so that really makes it a stable uh, supply for brewers all across the world. The U.S. grower is ideally suited to harvest hops in a timely manner. They have the facilities, they have the technology, and they have the ability to optimally pick hops at the perfect timing. And I think that really gives us an edge in the worldwide market. Things like new kilning and cooling rooms, as well as refrigeration of finished product in a timely manner, that's really provided a consistent product for the brewers. The advancement of integrated pest management within our industry has been a huge success. Growers are able to eliminate the need to use plant protection products for various issues that we used to have to. Over the last 20 to 30 years, there's been huge developments that have come through collaborative research. A number of new varieties that have come out of our university research systems that feature different levels of resistance to some of the pests and diseases that we face. And the U.S. grower has been able to use those varieties to manage their way around some of the potential problems that can come up. We currently grow over 50 different varieties of hops here in the United States. And as a brewer, you can use any and all combinations of those hops to produce the ideal beer. As a grower, I need to know what the needs of the brewers are, not just in the current year, but the years moving forward. And they've done a good job of that. We've got this burgeoning U.S. craft market that we've been working with for years and we have the ability to take that passion, that art that the U.S. craft market has and help and apply that to worldwide brewing markets. The traditional American aroma profile which produces a great strong beer is really coming in demand globally now too and we can offer brewers whatever they're interested in, whatever their needs are for hops to produce ideal beer.